Hi, my name's Amy and I'm a future student officer here at Murdoch University. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about making that transition from a regional area to study here in Perth. Now, if you are a regional student and you're having to move away from home, it's likely that you're feeling a little bit anxious or at least have a lot of questions. And the reason I say that is because I know that I did. Originally from a regional area myself, moving to Perth to study here at Murdoch, there was a number of things that I wanted to know more about. For example, I wanted to know what the campus was going to be like. I wanted to know what kind of support would be available, especially to new students in Perth. What kind of financial support would I have access to? And of course, what would my accommodation options be? These are just some of the things I'm going to be addressing in today's short video. Travelling to regional areas to visit schools, I'm often asked what were some of the factors that drew me to study here at Murdoch? And I have to say, while there were quite a few, one in particular was the campus itself. I love the fact it's a natural bushland campus. There's three working farms, one right here on our main city campus. We have wetlands and there is a lot of space. So even though we're really close to the city with the bush and the space, you don't get overwhelmed. And it's a really great way to transition to metro life. One of the other factors that drew me to study at Murdoch uh, was the real sense of community that the campus provides. So yes, it is a really large campus, but in terms of the student population, in comparison, it's actually relatively small. So you actually get to know your tutors and your lecturers as well as the other students. So you're not just a number. And for me, that was something that was really important. Uh, and even while there's a lot that does go on at the university, I do love the fact that it has a laid back and relaxed vibe. So I'm currently standing on Bush Court. This is actually one of my favourite parts of the campus. It's known as the heart of the university. It's a really busy, bustling, vibrant part of the campus. And we have deck chairs as well as bean bags that are found on the lawn. Uh, so it's an ideal place to study, eat lunch and spend time with your friends. We also have markets that run throughout the year as well as many events that take place here as well. Coming to a new place can feel really daunting. Perhaps you're feeling overwhelmed. Look, that is completely normal. I know coming to a new environment myself, I certainly felt that way. Thankfully, Murdoch does have a lot of support for students, especially new students. We have the student success team. They can offer both academic and personal support. And if they can't help you, they can either direct you to the right person or the right service. And we do have a variety of services available. For example, we have the mentoring program, we have counselling services, we have your peer academic coaches, as well as your peer assisted study sessions. And for Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander students, we also have the Kulbadi Aboriginal Centre. For many regional students, having to move to study, it's their first time they've had to live out of home. Uh, so it is really important to sit down and have a think of the type of expenses you may need to cover and also plan how you're going to effectively manage them. So we'll start with one of the biggest costs, uni fees. Now, if you're a permanent resident or an Australian citizen, it's likely that you'll be eligible for a Commonwealth supported place. What that means is that the cost of your course will be subsidised by the government, making it much more affordable. For Australian citizens, you may also be eligible for a HEX help loan. This means that you don't have to cover the cost of your course up front, but you can defer the payment until such time that you earn a certain amount. For many people, this means after you've actually graduated and you're in full-time employment. Every situation is different, so it is important to do your research and find out whether or not you're eligible. I also strongly encourage you to have a look into the many scholarships Murdoch has on offer, even if you don't think you're eligible. Don't make the same mistake as me. I missed out on a first year scholarship because I made that assumption. Always make sure that you double check. And look, they're not just for academic success. They're actually available for a number of different reasons. For example, there's scholarships for financial hardship, scholarships for Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander students, as well as regional students. And there's even course specific scholarships. Look, Murdoch awards over $2.5 million worth of scholarships every year. So it's definitely worth double checking to see whether or not you're eligible. Mm -hmm. 
as a regional student moving to Perth to study, it's likely going to be the first time that you've lived out of home. So it is important to know how much money you'll need for each week to cover things like rent, uh, food, transport, and other general bills. Make sure you take the time to sit down, have a think about the different types of costs you'll need to cover. And it goes without saying, also have a think about how you're going to budget your money so you can effectively manage your money while studying. Also to help you out with these costs, the government also has a range of financial aid packages. For example, there's Youth Allowance. This is a fortnightly payment from Centrelink for full-time students aged between 16 to 24 years of age. You may also be eligible for rent assistance or one of the federal government scholarships which have been designed to assist students who've experienced disadvantage. Make sure that you do your research. These do change over time to find out whether or not you're eligible. Something else for you to consider is accommodation. Some of you might have family or close family friends you plan to stay with. That's what I did for my first year and it was a great way to transition to city life. Of course, not everyone has that option. So if you are still wondering where it is that you're going to stay while you study, I do recommend having a look at on-campus accommodation. I had a number of friends from regional areas and they actually lived at the student village. They often said it was a great way to make friends. It was really convenient because class was just a walk away. And it was also a really good way to transition from living at home to living more independently. We're now going to hear from Beck. She's a current student here at Murdoch and she actually lived in the student village during her first year of study. My name is Rebecca May. I was born and raised in Bunbury down south in WA. I moved to Perth in 2015 to start studying animal science at Murdoch University. I moved to the student village because it was my first time living away from home and I was moving to another city. It was quite a daunting thing to think about, just what's going to happen, how will I manage. It was really great moving to the village because the accommodation is pretty much already organised for you. I didn't have to worry about purchasing furniture, which can be quite expensive. I didn't have to worry about utility bills. It's all in one payment that you pay the village and they organize that for you. And I like knowing that there will be other people around me in the same boat. And not only that, but there was a safety in numbers kind of situation where I knew that there was security and I'd be looked after. Living at the student village really helped me make friends outside of my course. I met a lot of different people from a lot of dis different disciplines. Um, my housemates in particular, one was a second year vet student. And so that's a similar degree to what I was doing in science at the start, and they can sort of give me pointers. Another was a postgraduate doing her master's in psychology, and that's something I hadn't even considered. That element of study is that, you know, further beyond what I was already doing. So it was cool to be able to ask questions like that. I got to meet teachers, teaching students, not teachers yet, teaching students, like students, sport exercise students, and it was really, really interesting. One of my favorite events that I did with the friends that I met at the village was we went to Fremantle for an international food truck night. And it was really quite fun because we had a lot of different um, people from different countries and those countries were actually represented here. So we got to go out and try each other's sort of different home country meals, which was quite fun. Living on campus really helped me adjust to being able to live in the city. Bunbury, whilst I think is large, is still quite a small town, especially compared to Perth. And moving to Perth, it was so much bigger. There was more to do and more to see, and it was a little bit overwhelming. Um, being on campus gave me a nice focal point where it was stress-free. I got to stay there and get to go out and explore the city. One of the greatest things about campus is the public transport because it's a university, it's got its own stops and it's really well connected. It's one bus to Fremantle, one bus to the train station and straight into the city. So with the whole stress free of not having to worry about, you know, renting, utilities, bills and all that kind of thing, I just to stop and explore. And that really sort of carried through when I was looking to move out because I sort of got the vibe of each different area of Murdoch before I had to move instead of just coming from Bunbury and not knowing what was going on. I always felt safe when living on campus. Not only was campus security on call, but there were other residents who would take an on-call phone and they could be contacted at any time for whatever concerns you might have had. And it was very reassuring to know that someone was always there to give you a hand and to help out. The best memories on campus, it wasn't just one specific memory, it was just knowing that we could meet up with friends at a moment's notice and just be spontaneous and go to the movie room to watch movies, whether that be, you know, lunchtime on a weekend, 10 o'clock at night because nobody wants to study for the test we have tomorrow. And it was just nice to know that we were right there two minutes away, two minutes away from each other every time. I hope that you found this video useful. 
If you do have any other questions, make sure that you reach out to our very friendly Meet Murdoch team. They'll be more than happy to have a chat and answer any of the questions that you have.